afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Thank you. I, I want the sound check back there. <laughs> okay, good afternoon. Thank you all for joining us today. My name is Wamazetta Jones, and I am very blessed to serve as our state secretary of the Executive Office of Health and Human Services. Here's what I can tell you all about myself and my family. I was born and raised on the south side of Chicago. It's very important to say which part of Chicago. <laughs> south side of Chicago. I grew up in a big family that taught me the importance of taking care of each other and taking care of our community. And I've been very, very blessed to raise three beautiful children, a son and two daughters. Now here's what I cannot tell you about my family. Because of the horrors of slavery, my family's history is unknown further back than my great grandparents. My ancestors could have arrived in this country through Newport or other parts of this state that played leading roles in the transatlantic slave trade. I believe personally in strengthening and supporting families and fighting against all manners of injustice. This is at the very core of who I am and that's thanks to my faith, my culture, and my family. Everybody has already heard me say it, I'm gonna say it again. My grandmother is it. She is the core of who I am. I am proud to serve the state of Rhode Island and I bring these core values to the work that I do each and every day. But racism and oppression still exist and it persists even here in Rhode Island. The word plantations is literally in the name of the state and that blew my mind when I saw that first paycheck stub. Whether we're talking about Rhode Island shank for history in the slave trade or the horrific deaths of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and other black people that has catalyzed our state and our nation, the time has long since passed for our government and other systems to address the injustices that people of color face every single day in all types of unacceptable and hateful ways, whether they be through direct racism, microaggressions, Pick the phrase, but faced every single day. I want to thank our governor, Governor Raimondo, for bringing us together today with a call to action, to rise together. We need to address the inequity, inequities that people of color in Rhode Island face in our criminal justice system, health system, housing, employment, education, accessing just your basic services that you need to help grow a strong and healthy family and to heal from the systemic historic racism. I'm proud to work for a governor who wants to truly listen, to truly learn and understand. Our framework for promoting equity across government focuses on representation and voice, police and criminal justice reform, healing and economic resiliency, but it starts with leading by example. No policies or initiatives are quickly going to undo over 400 years of this historic systemic racism. It's time for all of us to work together in ways we never have before. And as Secretary of the Executive Office of Health and Human Services, a Rhode Island resident, a black woman, and most importantly, a mother who's raising a black son and two black daughters, I plan to do everything in my power to assist the governor in ensuring that these initiatives are followed through on and that our communities of color have the opportunity to fully engage in this process. I will use my voice and I will speak up. I will definitely be fierce, determined, brave, and I call on every person in Rhode Island to do the same. Don't be afraid, please use your voice. 